This is a general reading for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, there is a message here for you. Or if you have come across this reading for no in particular reason, there also is a message here for you. Spirit does work in wonderful and amazing ways like that. It is a general reading, so take what res look at all these cards. Right? Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not. Um, practice good discernment. Trust your judgment. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Leo, this month, the new moon moves through the sign of Leo. You may find yourself in the spotlight and not knowing what to do, or you may even find yourself in a position to receive criticism. When that happens, Leo, Spirit is asking us to accept this feedback, accept this spotlight from a positive perspective. You have the ability to determine whether that information that criticism is going to use to deflate your ego or you can use that to build yourself up and the underlying message energy of this reading is the ten of wands something is coming to an end something that you have put in a lot of work and a lot of energy into. And I'm feeling at this time that quite possibly you're not knowing if you're going to reap the benefits of your work or your energy that you've put into this situation. Let's see how that plays into the reading, Leo. In your work life, in your professional life, in your public life, disagreements. About income, disagreements. About a loss, about a betrayal. Maybe someone in your work life in your business life was a little bit dishonest or deceitful about money about income about pay trying to take advantage of a situation trying to take advantage of um, your good nature and your dedication and your generosity. Somebody is really hitting all of your buttons. You have, you've had enough. You've had enough of the lack of compensation. You've had enough of the manipulative behaviors. You've had enough of the deception, the, the empty promises. Maybe somebody was saying that, that you were going to get a raise or that you were going to get a bonus, um, that, uh, a promotion was going to happen, but saying that something was almost like dangling a carrot, telling you that something was going to happen, that something was going to occur, taking advantage of um, your generosity, your trustworthiness or your trustfulness. You, you're uh, very trusting to people, of people and of situations. Um, you say what you mean and you expect other people to say what they mean, but that has not been the case. 
and it's causing you to um, want to have words, to want to take action, to to move on, to put an end to this. You are wanting to put an end to this. But this next few weeks, Leo, keep your temper. Keep your temper in check. Instead, hold your tongue, be patient, and plan your exit strategy. I understand that this has got to stop, but let's stop it on your terms. Let's stop it in a way that is going to be most beneficial to you. By you holding your tongue, being patient, and working on an exit strategy, you will be able to transition into the next phase of your career, the next job, whatever it is that you are putting an end to and moving on to, you can control that transition if you control your tongue. In your home life, in your private life, look at this beautiful star. You know, and the star card in the tarot represents the Aquarius, and we are in the age of Aquarius, and it's just in the beginning states, it's just in the transition stages stages of moving into the age of Aquarius and I do believe that is why the Aquarius card has been showing up in a lot of tarot readings it is because we are moving into and getting into the cycle getting into the groove getting into the rhythm of the age of Aquarius and Leo what I think that that is asking or having you look at is you are the star of your own life you are the actor you are the creator you are the director you have the ability to write your life and live your life the way that you envision it not the way that other people are envisioning it Your work life has been directly affecting your home life. Directly affecting your home life. And those closest to you are wanting you to keep your work life and your private life separate. And start something new with them? It's okay to have two sets of friends, to have two groups of people, you know, to have one for your work and one for your home. They don't always necessarily need to intermingle. They do not necessarily need to intermingle. But here I see you focusing in. So the universe is bringing you in a, some type of financial gift into your home life, into your private life. But this financial gift is separate. Perhaps, are you wanting to work from home or start your own business, work for yourself? And that would explain the two. So you can start a side business and 
keep that side business separate from what it is that you're doing now in your career, in your work, in your public life. So you can keep that separate and have a, a group for your public life and a different for your private life. And be patient and grow and nurture what this is that you're wanting to create for yourself. Creating for yourself a business, a financial freedom, financial success. And quite possibly that could be the plan, your exit strategy. But build this slowly. Slow and steady is going to win the race here, Leo. Slow and steady is going to be the race. And so keep working on this and keep nurturing this in your private life that you're wanting to build and create yourself. And then as it starts to generate money, as it starts to generate the uh, financial success that you're looking for, when it can generate enough income that you are generating in your public career, your public life that you're doing now, then you can put in your resignation, then you can leave this position. But wait, don't jump the gun. Wait until this is financially steady, financially stable. It is going to take a lot of work, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication, and a lot of patience. And I think especially the patience in continuing what it is that you're doing in your uh, professional life, your public life now. But put in the time, put in the work, and it will end and this new venture that you're wanting to start, this new business, this new that you're wanting to create will take foot. But now is the time to plant those seeds to water and nurture it and do not take from this until it is generating at least enough income that matches what you're doing here. Final thoughts, final messages. And, and we have this Four of Pentacles. And this Four of Pentacles, again, is asking you to balance and protect the four areas of your life. And so why it is about um, balancing and protecting the financial, it's balancing and protecting um, the uh, financial, the spiritual, um, the home life, and the public life. That is what this Four of Pentacles is asking for you at this time is to balance and verify and protect. And so even though you may be unhappy with this situation in your career, in your public life now, find balance and protect what that is offering you, what that is bringing you in. Be patient. Be patient. We, we see the four swords here and uh, this person is resting on their words and being patient with their words and not rushing in and not making um, uh, uh, rash decisions or um, letting our temper get the best of us. Judgment is going to be in your favor if you can 
mind your temper and guard your emotions. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Leo. Thank you, Leo. You have a blessed week.